Hello, I'm Mark Cutright with Innovative Orthopedics. I'm going to talk to you today about our Mako robot and how we do a total knee arthroplasty. Before you even, before the patient even comes into the operating room, uh, in the surgical planning stage, they get a CAT scan performed of their knee uh, that allows us to plan the surgery. That CAT scan is actually uploaded into this computer system and allows us to plan for the, the sizes and in the initial orientation. It certainly it typically is not the final orientation because we do take into account when we're doing the surgery, the ligaments and so forth. So once we've done that, then the patient comes in um, and we get them ready for, ready for surgery. Now next I want to show you the components of the robot. So this is the computer uh, where the rep uh, controls, controls the robot and what, which part of the surgery we're working on, which cuts of the bone we're working on and that sort of thing. The computer talks to the robot and basically to me in, on the surgical field through this device here. Um, basically think of it kind of like an infrared device or the remote control on your TV or something like that. So that device on the computer talks to this, this, these two things right here, and this on the robot depending on what, what, what we needed to talk to. Okay, so. Once we start the total knee and expose everything, we attach these pins, two pins here, two pins down here to the bone. And so now when we move the leg, which we do during the surgery, this moves with it and maintains the orientation, okay? Or maintains the reference for the robot or for the computer. So once we have the knee exposed, the next thing we have to do, even though these are attached, we have not told the computer where this is. So we have to go through a regimen of telling, telling it where it is. So if you look at this screen here, you can see there's a bunch of dots. And so what we're gonna do is use this pencil device I have in my hand and, and follow those dots on the screen. So I'm gonna, we'll start on the screen and I'll do a couple here. So what we do, this point referencing these, it's gotta look at that, computer over there so it can read it and so we're just touch the top of the bone and so we're following a set parameter okay so here we go and we have to do all these points and what's happening is the computer is learning where the bone is All right, and so once that's done, I've, told, I've gone over all those points. It puts, you see it puts those blue dots up there. You can see the pointer from my device. I've got to basically put my pointer on those boxes and I can pop, I basically we call it popping the boxes, but you, the bubbles. Um, and so you pop each one of those and this confirms, if we're able to pop them, that the, robot, that the computer now knows where this, this bone is. All right, and so, so, and it also gives us an accuracy level. So right here, you can see it's this, basically it's identified it within 0.3 millimeters. That's pretty small. Uh, it knows where that bone is, okay? And so then we do the same thing on this bone, which we've already done. Um, so we're not gonna, oh, well, I can pop one. There's one bubble left to pop. And so there we go. So we've done the same thing on the shin bone. So now when we make these, do our cuts on the bone, when the robot's cutting this bone, it's referencing this one. And when the robot's cutting this bone, it's referencing this one, because that this is attached to this bone, this is attached to this bone. So next, we bring the robots brought in. So all that stuff, we haven't even started using the, the robotic arm or anything like that. This is, everything we've done so far is to plan the surgery and then tell the computer where the leg is, okay? So then, you can see, we got a saw blade here. Um, and so what we got to do, every time we do something, we have to confirm. These things are all screwed on. If something comes loose, or so, we need to confirm that everything is where it's supposed to be so that this thing cuts accurately. The saw blade, I don't know if you can see it, has a little dot on it. And we put this on it, and that confirms that the, it, that the robot knows where the saw blade tip is and is correct. And then the same thing here, this thing here, which is similar to the way we identified all these points, we identified where, where we put this thing, 
and we put that there. And as long as that passes, it says this has not moved or shifted or changed positions. And so now we're ready to go. The green is what needs to be cut, okay? So that's what's planned to be cut off. Um, and so, so what we do is get the saw into position. Once we can see the saw blade on the screen, then we, then we know we're ready for the, the robot and the computer ready to position the saw blade. Hit the trigger and the arm moves. It gets lined up and you can, you can see right here it's, it's ready, ready to cut, okay? And so I'm gonna take, for demonstration purposes, we're not really gonna cut the bone, but I'm gonna take that off, but it'll think we're cutting it. Um, so now it's aligned. If I hit the trigger, the saw runs and you can watch the saw blade and so it says, this is, we've cut this bone. All right, another thing I didn't really point out, um, this line is, the saw has to be in here to be active. Anything we go, if we go outside the alignment of the bone, the saw will either stop and won't let us go. If we push and try and force it, the saw will actually stop. So it's a safety mechanism. Your nerves and vessels and that sort of thing are back in here. Your ligaments are over here. Uh, and it keeps us from damaging those things, which is obviously not something we wanna do. That's, that's to make the shin bone cut. I won't demonstrate all the cuts, but then we make five cuts on the femur bone. So once we've made all the cuts on there, this is basically what it looks like. One cut on the shin bone, and then we've got basically five different cuts on the femur bone to allow us to get the piece on it. This is one of the processes that goes on here. And then we come up here, and the femur bone goes on here. And then this is what rubs together, all right? And so basically we wanna recover all the surfaces in the joint that rub together. And the whole purpose of a joint replacement is to give you a new surface to walk on. And so that's, that's basically what we're doing when we do that. And so everything that rubs together in the knee or the hip uh, is recovered. So once the joint replacement's in, we do the final things. Basically we do a pain injection all along here, across here and around here and down along here. And it, it, that is a long lasting pain medication that Ideally, will last three days. In reality, it's more like two days um, and works very, very well in letting us do this surgery out on an outpatient basis.